Dear students, in this video, I am going to discuss introduction, principle and applications of atomic absorption spectroscopy. Now let's start. Introduction Atomic absorption spectroscopy was developed in 1950s by Alan Walsh and then onwards it rapidly becomes a widely used analytical tool. Atomic absorption spectroscopy is an elemental analysis technique which is capable of providing quantitative information of about 70 elements. Nowadays more than 80 elements can be analyzed and detected by the AS technique. AS is used for analysis of metallic elements and trace elements such as aluminium, cadmium, lead, copper, nickel, molybdenum, magnesium, zinc, etc. It is a very sensitive technique. It can detect the elements up to ppm level or for some elements it can detect up to ppb or ppt level that is parts per trillion level also. Another advantage is that a given element can be determined in presence of other elements which do not interfere by absorption of analyte wavelength. Here the flame photometry and AS differs. If the sample contains more than one metallic element, flame photometry will show spectral interference. And to avoid this spectral interference, the metallic element must be separated from the rest of sample matrix and then it is subjected for analysis. But in AS, such interference is not there. So, there is no need of prior separation of element and this will reduce the time required in AS. Food, soil, water samples are generally analyzed by AS for presence of trace elements. Now this is a brief introduction of atomic absorption spectroscopy. Now we will go for principle. The principle of AS and flame photometry is almost same but both these techniques differ at a particular point. We will see that. The first step involved here is sample solution is atomized in atomizer. Now what is atomizer? Atomizer is a part of AS instrument which converts solid or liquid sample into gaseous metal atoms. Many types of atomizers are available but mostly used is flame atomizer. So I will discuss the principle in accordance to the flame atomizer. Now the sample solution is aspirated into the flame. The droplets of sample solution get evaporated in the flame and the solid residue of sample will remain. This solid residue will get evaporated and solid sample molecules will convert into gaseous sample molecules due, due to the flame temperature. Further, these gaseous molecules will dissociate to give gaseous neutral metal atoms which are at ground state. Due to flame temperature, some of the ground state gaseous metal atoms will be excited but most of the atoms remain in the ground state or unexcited state. Here the flame photometry and AS differs. The atoms which are excited will show emission of radiation and they are studied by flame photometry. But the atoms which are at ground state or which are unexcited they are studied by AS. Electromagnetic radiations are then of a particular wavelength are then passed uh, through the ground state unexcited gaseous metal atoms which will absorb those radiations. And this absorption of radiation by the gaseous metal atom is the basis of AS. The absorbed radiations are measured by the detector. Now this is the principle of AS. We will see the principle in the diagrammatic form. The sample solution that is NaCl solution is aspirated into the flame where the droplets of sample solution will produce. Solvent will get evaporated in the flame 
and the solid residue of NaCl will remain in the flame. This solid residue get vaporized and NaCl gaseous molecules will be produced. Now next step is thermal dissociation in the flame. Due to flame temperature, this NaCl molecule will get dissociated. Na will dissociate from Cl and ground state gaseous sodium metal atoms are produced. Now through these ground state sodium metal atoms, radiations are allowed to pass. The, some of these radiations are absorbed by the metal atom while some radiations are transmitted through it. The transmitted radiations are detected by detector. Now the absorption of radiation is the basis of AS technique. So this is the principle. Absorption of radiation by ground state unexcited gaseous metal atoms is the basis of atomic absorption spectroscopy. AS follows Beer Lambert's law, that is, law of spectroscopy. The law is log I0 upon IT is equal to KLN N0, where I0 is intensity of radiation of incident light incident radiations. IT is the intensity of radiations transmitted from metal atom. K is the characteristic constant. L is the path length of flame in centimeter and N is the number of atoms in ground state. Now we will see the oxidant and fuel mixtures used in AS because we are studying the flame atomizer. So flame is very important and for flame oxidant and fuel gases are very important. Now this is the table which shows some uh, of the oxidant and fuel gas mixture when oxidant is oxygen and fuel gas is natural gas the temperature of flame is around 2700 to 2800 degrees celsius when oxygen and hydrogen mixture is there 2550 to 2700 degrees celsius is the flame temperature oxygen acetylene mixture is there 3050 to 3150 is the flame temperature. When air and natural gas mixture is there, 1700 to 1900 degrees Celsius is the flame temperature. When air and hydrogen mixture is there, 2000 to 2100 degrees Celsius flame temperature. When air and acetylene mixture is there, 2100 to 2400 degrees Celsius flame temperature. And when oxygen gas is nitrous oxide and fluid gas is acetylene, 2600 to 2800 degrees Celsius flame temperature is obtained. If we see carefully, when air is the oxidant gas, the less hotter flames are produced. And when the oxidant gas is oxygen or nitrous oxide, more hotter flames are produced produced. Now next is comparison of flame photometry and AS. Now we will see similarities first. Both are atomic techniques that is flame photometry also study atomic metal, uh, metal atoms and AS also study uh, atomic metal atoms. Both are used for analysis of soil, food and water samples. Now we will see differences. Uh, flame photometry, uh, in flame photometry, measurement of emitted radiations is the basis of flame photometry. And measurement of absorbed radiations is the basis of atomic absorption spectroscopy. It, it means that the emitted radiations are studied by flame photometry and absorbed radiations are studied by AS. Emission of radiation depends upon number of gaseous excited metal atoms and absorption of radiation depends upon number of gaseous unexcited metal atoms. 
emission phenomena depends on flame temperature while absorption phenomena is independent of flame temperature flame photometry is only limited to alkali and alkaline earth metals while as gives approximately 70 element uh, analysis of approximately 70 elements nowadays it is more the number is more now we'll go for applications the first application is analysis of water soil and air samples for metallic pollutants that means uh, analysis of river water analysis of waste water analysis of industrial water same as analysis of soil and air sample for meta uh, study of metallic pollutants is done by atomic absorption spectroscopy analysis of food samples for metallic content is also done by as determination of trace elements in various samples such as uh, the samples of paint fabric rubber samples can also be analyzed by as analysis of biological samples such as blood plasma serum for calcium magnesium lithium sodium iron etc determination of lead in petrol is done by as hair analysis for heavy metal poisoning as can be used for both quantitative and qualitative analysis now qualitative analysis means detection of element which element is present which elements are present in the sample and quantitative analysis means the elements are present in how much quantity so this is about the principle and applications of atomic absorption spectroscopy so i hope you understood all these things thank you for watching my video thank you very much